Hi guys, welcome back to another video on Angular 17 crash course. This part is about lazy loading. You can also call it feature modules. And in the previous video, I talked about routings. I talked about how we can create dynamic routing, nested routing. But this video is again about routing, but with performance. Lazy loading feature modules is all about performance, means that only those routes will be loaded in the DOM. Um, that are required actually okay so now I have created this empty project angular 17 so I'm just going to go and clean that up let me remove everything in app component HTML file and also uh, let's leave it like this instead first of all I need to add and import this thing it will be required for adding links in HTML and for this component I don't need to add anything else so in this HTML file first of all I'm going to add few links which will navigate me to the different routes if you have followed from my previous videos then then we need to add a few things so app header this is a navbar and I'm simply going to show you that uh, this is how we create uh, different uh, navigations. Okay, so now uh, also I need to add a router outlet. This is where the content of all the uh, HTML files of the routers will work, will be shown up. So let's say we have a about component, it has its HTML content and that content will be visible over here irrespective of uh, which route we are at uh, and this will always be visible so above this router outlet i'm going to add a button and this is going to be of type button and then i can add the router link and this is going to be the home so let's add this home so i'm simply going to copy this and i'm going to create different route so let's add the customers and let's add the orders okay from my previous video you might be thinking that i will go over here app.routes.ts and i will simply be adding a path and then the component and it will navigate me to the components but the reason i'm not going to do that way uh, because uh, this is going to uh, slow down the performance if we have very small application that have 10 to 12 routes then it is fine you don't need to use lazy loading but if you have hundreds of routes then you should go with the lazy loading so before actually adding the routes over here with the lazy loading I'm first going to create different modules so in order to create modules I'm going to come in the terminal and I'm going to start off writing a command so this is ng g m for module and then i can add uh, the name of that module so this is going to be customers and after that i'm going to start adding hyphen hyphen routing flag so this will be created along with the routing file so let's click uh, no and now you can see that this customers folder is created and inside it we have this new module created and then we have this customers routing module is created over here and this is where we can add the further routes for this particular module okay uh, so the benefit of loading these modules or the customer is that uh, we it will be only loaded when it is required for example there is one home page and the home page is only required a customer routes all the customer routes it might have five to ten routes and another page about is going to have a uh, five to six nested routes and that is a part of a module and if even if we don't navigate to the about page uh, we don't want those routes to be loaded and whenever we add all the routes directly in the app routes file then even though we are not on that page those routes will be loaded from here all the components all the titles will be loaded and this can slow down the performance we only want to load those components those routes which are required currently on the browser which and the page we are actually opened in the browser okay so now uh, I need to create few components for this particular module because the component module customer module is not itself uh, is isn't anything it's, it's doing we need to load some kind of content in this module uh, now in the terminal I'm going to add ng g c for component and let's add the customers I'm gonna go inside the customers folder this is the modules folder and inside it let's create a customer as well and after that 
um, I want to create it a, a regular component and there are multiple ways. Uh, one way is let me add the no stand alone. So let's see if it works. Hit enter. And now you can see that uh, this has been created. The customer component is created with all of different four files. And also this has been added over here in the declaration array. This is actually required. And uh, if I would not add that particular flag, like no standalone, then uh, it will not be added over here. So it is actually uh, useful. Otherwise you have to manually add the uh, component declaration in this declaration array. Okay. So now in our module, actually the routing file here, I need to add the path just like I added previously in my previous video. So for adding a path, let me add path. Um, and this is going to be an empty string. And then I'm going to add a component. And then let's load up the customer component, which I have just created. So this is the customer component. Yes. All right. So if I run the application, you will see that nothing is going to be shown up. The reason is that I have to tell my main component, main module that this is a customer module. It needs to be loaded in my home route. Okay. Or any other route. So I'm going to go over here. Let's refresh. And now if I click on the home, 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 actually I needed to change that. So this is going to be the customers. This is going to be the orders. Okay. I'm already at the home route and you can see header footer is visible, but nothing is happening because I have to define my routing in my routes file. So let's come over here and here I'm going to actually a uh, tab nine AI assistant extension, which I'm using in VS code. So it is actually suggesting me few things because I have created different modules. So I'm not going to select its suggestion. In fact, I'm going to add it myself. So first of all, uh, I need to add the route for the customers. So let's add path and this is going to be the customer's path. And rather than adding the component directly, I need to load the module. I've already explained you what is the benefit of loading that module. So it is suggesting me few things. Let's hit tab and let me verify if it is suggesting something correct. Load children fine and then import, which is fine. And then we need to define the path of the module file of that customer. Okay. And I think this is the right path inside the customers. We have this file and then, uh, we have then, uh, M dot customers module, and we don't need to import that actually. So let me see, let me save this file and let's see, and let's refresh, click on the customer. Uh, so now you can see that if I go home, click on the customer. And now you can see that if I'm clicking on the customers, it is showing the customer works. So what happens is, uh, when I'm at the customer's route, then this whole module, including all of its components, is going to be loaded and it will not be loaded if I'm at the home route or if I'm at the orders route. Okay. And this is the benefit of this lazy loading feature modules that it is going to uh, uh, speed up the application. All the unnecessary components will not be loaded. Okay. So here we have this customers and we have this uh, module and whenever load children is going to work, this is going to load the module. And along with that, this is going to load this routing file. And this routing file is going to have this particular path that for the customer route, we have this path. And then for this path, we have this customer component. And this is what is showing over here. And we have already defined the parent path from here uh, in our HTML file. And this is going to work for that particular module. Now, uh, let me load up the uh, about module quickly. So this is going to be uh, customers and I'm going to add, let's say the orders module. So let's add that and let's create uh, that orders and the order. So orders slash order, you can name anything as you want. So this is going to be added over here. So customer 
and then the orders like this and one thing we need to add is only this path okay so path is going to be empty string and then the component is going to be the order so order component all right so let's save it let's go over here and similar to this i'm simply going to add it like path orders it is suggesting me few things let me see if it is fine yes i think it is suggesting me correct code so now let's run the application let's refresh now we are at the home route all the components which are a part of customers and orders are not loaded and this is going to speed up my application i'm explaining this again and again so you understand the benefit of lazy loading feature module now if i go to the customers now only the components related to customers will be loaded okay and if i go to the orders and only the order component modules uh, are going to be loaded so we are actually we can create as much routes as we want within the modules we can have nested modules as well for beginners i think this is pretty much it if you have liked this if you have understood how we can work with lazy modules in angular 17 do subscribe my channel and see you in the next video where i'll be talking about how we can protect our routes using the authentication guards in angular thank you so much for watching guys see you in the next video